My name is Lizzie and my capstone project is on Barbie. My main inquiry question, which is the question that I need to answer to complete my project, is how is the appearance of the Barbie doll evolved and what further changes need to be made to represent the 21st century woman across the globe? To answer this question, let's flash back about 57 years. A woman named Ruth Taylor saw her children, Kenneth and Barbara, playing with paper dolls that broke. She tried to think of a way to fix that, and so came the 1959 dolls Barbie and Ken. Barbies now and then look very different from the hairstyles, the eye color, and the body types, as you can see. Mattel just came out with a new Barbie line called the Fashionistas. These dolls represent the average woman more. They come petite, curvy, tall, and so many other varieties. Children love them, says Planet's manager and Barbie Stephanie Sherman. And here's a short video showing how much children love them because they look like people they know. It's important for Barbies to look different. You know, like the, the real people in the world. This is radical because we're saying that there isn't this narrow standard of what a beautiful body looks like. When I look at the line now, one is taller than original Barbie, one is more petite, and one is curvier. It's going to be so much fun for the girls to really pick out dolls that they can relate to, you know, they connect with. I like them because this one looks like me and this one looks like my mom. This one looks like my friend Nan. They're seeing the differences amongst their friends and family being celebrated. We have to let girls know it doesn't matter what shape you come in, that anything is possible. When I grow up, I want to be a uh, teacher if I have time. I like mm. being a scientist. That makes me feel like I can do anything. This is what our future looks like because this is what the world looks like. It's kind of cool to have people look different. These dolls look like everyone I see walking by at the path of Wonderland. In my opinion, I think the new Barbie doll should have come out before 2016. It takes one year to make the Barbie dolls, and there would be a lot less complaints from the feminists if they had come out before. <laughs> Some improvements that Mattel can make is making a line of male Barbie dolls. Because why have so many girl Barbie dolls and so few boy dolls? They should also come out with a line of children's Barbie dolls. Because children are relating themselves to the old Barbie dolls instead of the new ones. So if they come out with a new line of children's Barbie dolls, then children can relate themselves to this line. Experts on Barbie 50 years ago most likely wouldn't recognize Barbie now. From the girls to the boys, the pets to the dream houses. Oh, and speaking of dream houses, you wouldn't think that Mattel would make a dream house that has voice recognition and Wi-Fi, would you? Well, they did. <laughs> to activate the dream house for voice recognition, you have to say the word hello dream house. Then you tell it what to do and it does it. There are four modes of play, three of which are already set up. These modes are hangout mode, fun house, and party mode. And the fourth one is an app where you can customize the house even more without speaking. I was researching the other day, and you would not believe all of the cons I have on Barbie dolls. Barbie dolls are too perfect, or Barbie dolls don't re represent what the world looks like. Did you ever think about how all 130 jobs Barbie had was a way of saying let your imagination run wild? Children have a ginormous imagination, and I think that Barbie really likes the music. For example, I found this quote. From her early days as a teenage fashion model, Barbie has appeared as an astronaut, surgeon, Olympic athlete, downhill skier, aerobics instructor, TV news reporter, vet, rock star, doctor, army officer, air force pilot, summit diplomat, rat musician, <coughs> presidential candidate, baseball player, scuba diver, lifeguard, firefighter, engineer, dentist, and many more. This shows that Barbie allows children to have a wild imagination. I have learned a lot over the course of this project, and I hope you learned a lot from my presentation. Visit my blog, or you can scan my QR code. If you come to my table, you will see the first type of Barbie doll in the box. You will also see a couple of pictures from Barbies a long time ago, which I got from my site visit. My site visit was in New York City, right at the Whitney Museum on 99 Gansenwood Street. It is a gallery of pictures from a long time ago. It is really cool because two men make a living off of selling these pictures. And some of them are actually on a beach in Miami, or some of them are in, the are in front of the Statue of Liberty, or the Empire State Building. 
If you are interested in going there, they are open Thursday to Saturday. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.